Hello Tingzi customers, here is a quick demo on how you can install the Tingzi 4 node switch. Uh, before that I would like to give an introduction. So this module can be installed behind your switchboard, um, behind your switches so that nothing is visible and you know your house looks cleaner as ever. What you can, uh, your existing switches will be able to connect to this module very easily as, as shown here we will be connecting these four switches to the module um, and uh, you can connect any four type of loads or appliances like you know a fan, a TV, your music system, your lights. All these loads has to be less than one kilowatt that's what we recommend people but you can go a little higher if you want. Please do not connect an air conditioner uh, to this module it, it's not capable of handling such a big load. Okay, this module is also uh, compatible with uh, Amazon Alexa and Google Home. So you know it's a simple step where you can pair it and you can say Alexa please turn on the lights it will turn on the light for you. Pretty cool right. So let's get started with the installation. So first what we did is we, uh, we attached a 230 volt wire this wire uh, to it. So uh, neutral will go here line will go here. So first you need to connect these two wires, uh, you will see the LED will start blinking. That means, so now when LED blinks this way like on, off, on, off, if it blinks this way this is, this means this is in the pairing mode, right. And uh, unless this is in this mode, you won't be able to pair the device. If it's blinking fast or whatever the case is, there is a small switch right here. So keep pressing that switch for 5 seconds and it will reset and the LED will start blinking the way you see it right now. So make sure this is blinking this way before you get started. So uh, the first step is to op let's open up the app. I'm assuming you will have installed the app and you would have uh, you know logged in using your phone or using a Google account. So let me just quickly open the app. So I, I just opened up the app, uh, I'll go to the bottom, it says uh, add device. Now you need to select Wi-Fi 4 channel switch. Your Wi-Fi name will pop up automatically. If it doesn't, it will ask you for permission. You need to allow all the permission it needs to read your Wi-Fi name. Otherwise you can enter the Wi-Fi name manually. Uh, let's type in my Wi-Fi password now. I hit connect. Now you'll see the LED is blinking faster. Now the LED is turned off now because you know it has connected to your router. Now it connects. It needs to connect to your internet. So let's say I'm using uh, the first is the tube light. The second channel is the LED bulb. Third channel is the my music system, and let's say fourth is the fan. I, whenever I'm, you can rename these devices whatever you like uh, you just need to choose a type before and do remember you can uh, make sure you type in the correct room name so in our case we have selected living room for now um, hit done when you're done and you're now connected now let me turn the tube light on so you will hear all the relays you know uh, turning on and on when you press these switches this means your wi-fi connectivity is perfectly running fine now now let's connect the loads or our you know fan music system to this module so that we can turn them on one by one right so uh, so all let's say these are our four devices all these four devices will have a neutral already provided by the electrician whenever the construction happened in a house so uh, you will see here this is a neutral, this neutral is going to all these four appliances or bulbs, uh, we have connected the neutral here, so this is, it has neutral. Now let's connect all these wires, be, make sure you are away, like be very careful when you are connecting these wires because this is where the 230 volts appliances and 230 volts input will be provided. This is the area where you won't be providing any 230 volts 
this make sure you don't provide 230 volts here otherwise this module will blow up 230 volts volts will only be applied in this area okay so let's connect these wire one by one okay so now we have connected all the wires uh, wires to the load so four four loads four line wires neutral is connected directly you know to this connector so let me show you how it works now pretty cool right now after connecting these four wires and making sure all these are working through your app the next step would be to connect these four switches um, to these five connectors so let me walk you through how to do it so first you need to take a common wire from any of these two modules so in th this case we are using a green wire you will take the green wire and you will connect the green wire to all the four switches like we have done here as you can see you know these all these four are connected together this is a common wire and you need to connect these four connectors one two three four four connectors to these four switches pretty simple wiring any electrician can do it uh, you know in in half an hour at the max also uh, just a warning make sure you don't connect any 230 volt wires to these four switches if you do connect 230 volts to this area or to these switches this module will blow up this module will not be usable anymore so make sure you don't mess it up so let me show you now how the uh, the switches work so we have connected these switch wires to the switchboard pretty cool right so now let's say you turned us uh, your fan on and you left the house and you want to turn it back off now you can go to the app turn it off or turn it on pretty cool right you don't need to worry about you know where if your switch is on and off you can this switches will become two way switches and one warning for everybody these this area where the led light is this area should be connected by themselves like they you should not connect the 230 volts wire to any of this area as well as the to any of the four switches uh, wherever we have taken install these wires with okay but if you do use 230 volts in this area it will blow up the module so please don't do that that's all uh, please let us know if you have any questions